Hi, welcome to the review of the number one best-selling JavaScript course on Udemy from the instructor Yuna Schmedman. My name is Jana and I'm a developer for 20 years now. I've done a lot of projects. I also teach and I love making reviews of other courses. Learning JavaScript is a great decision you've made. JavaScript runs in a browser and it can also run on the server. Learning JavaScript is a great way to come into a programming world. Jonas Schmidman's complete JavaScript course has 28 hours of content and an average rating of 4.6 from over 70,000 students. That is a lot. Jonas has been working on WebApp since 2007 and has over half a million students on Udemy. He is one of the best teachers on Udemy. What we'll cover in this review is the content of the course, teacher style, and support you get while learning. Let's start with the content of the course. The complete JavaScript course 2020 starts with programming fundamentals, variables, boolean logic, if else, loops, functions, arrays. And very soon you will get challenges, so you are not bored. Jonas explains how JavaScript works. You learn about parsers, engines, execution stack, hoisting, scope, and scope chain. Without understanding these concepts, you will spend many lost hours behind the computer. And yes, he explains the this dead dilemma. You must be curious now. You learn about the DOM, DOM manipulation, events, all the browser features you need to know. Then he dives into objects, inheritance, and prototype chain, which is a must know if you want to understand JavaScript. Functions, ifs, closures, binds, must sound like a candy from a candy store. But let me reassure you, these are important concepts in JavaScript. To put it all together, you'll call three beautiful real-world apps with both ES5 and ES6. You'll learn about asynchronous JavaScript, the event loop, promises, async await, AJAX, and APIs. You'll learn about the tooling, NPM, Webpack, Babel, and ESX modules that will help you organize and structure your code. Yes, it's a lot. A lot of knowledge. Jonas takes a great care to really explain how things work under the hood, so you don't feel like you're just copying code. You're actually understanding what is happening and why. To test your knowledge, he added a final exam. I encourage you to take it. And as a bonus, he'll give you an introduction to Node.js, the server-side JavaScript. That's a nice way to round things up. What do I like about the course and the instructor? Jonas shows students how to problem solve like a developer, what to type into Google when you're stuck, how to get to the bottom of an error message. It is what I like about his teaching style. He is there to help you understand a concept, not just to show you what syntax to type. In programming, you gain knowledge by working on projects, solving problems. You cannot learn it from reading a book. You need to get your hands dirty. And this is what he does. He takes you by the hand and helps you to do the first steps. Challenges and solutions give you a boost at every level of the course. The three bigger projects show you the complexity and how to solve problems. I would recommend the course to the beginners and also the intermediates. Take up this course. So, what I don't like about this course? The course was done in 2016. Since the JavaScript scene is changing super fast, some libraries are deprecated. But the course gets updates and notifications, so you should be safe. What would be better is to start with ES6 features sooner, and also having more projects in the ES6 part would make it better. There could be more information about debugging. Maybe an introduction to Chrome Developer Tools would be a nice add-on. Like in many courses I watch, the last sections are maybe done in a rush, and having more challenges is always good. So there is always more you can add. But you know, 28 hours of content is still a lot. So what about the support of the course? Jonas hired a teaching assistant, Alexander, to answer the students. Questions are being answered and you are not left on your own. So let's summarize. The course is good because it covers all the important concepts of JavaScript. It goes deep. The explanations are simple so you can understand how things work behind the scene. This is super important. You need to understand not just copy code. 
The course was made over five years ago and some things are getting outdated. Also the ES6 part would be better. Some courses have a community. This course is missing it. Q&A is okay, but having a community is better. Overall, this is a great course. There is a solid reason why this is the number one best-selling JavaScript course on Udemy. I would definitely take the course. So have a great day and start learning JavaScript right now. I'll get a super small fee if you buy from the link below. Thank you for supporting me.